Yeah, the last time I was on a plane, I was on my way back from London and when I went over there, this last spring break I had. Wow, like like a real plane. Yeah. <laughs> I guess it wasn't, it, would you call that a commercial plane? That wasn't London, Georgia. No, 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 no. This okay. is the uh, UK. Okay. All right, well, I just turned our video camera on, so, so this is Hank. I've got my good friend Butch I've known for 30 some odd years. Been looking forward to take him up. And I got his son Christopher in the back seat. And we're flying over to Butch's uh, hometown where he grew up in Iva, South Carolina. We're gonna do a couple of turns around Iva and then we'll see what the weather looks like and see if we can uh, do a little bit more. Over to the left is Lake Hartwell and that's pretty much the Georgia-South Carolina border there. Starting to get a little bit bumpy. All right, we're closing in on Iva. Butch, do you see anything that looks familiar? Not yet. <laughs> I was looking. <laughs> All right, I'm going to pull out to the left here, and then and then Iva will be over on to your right, to your side. Yeah. Yeah. There's the bridge we usually cross. Well. Uh, if you look to the left, you see the river, and you see the bridge, and you can see the old bridge next to it. Uh, all right, yeah. All right, so that little that little town right there, there's a little town here. So that's that, Iva. That's, that's Iva. the water tower, yeah. Yeah, that's got to yeah. be it. Do you see the water tower? Is yeah, that, yeah. Is that looking familiar to you now? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. There should be a little uh, grass strip it's, out here. It's, it's on that end of town. I'm gonna slide this away a little bit, and then we will we'll do a nice 360 around it. I think that's my alma mater right there. Oh, is that right? That's Crescent High School. Okay, yeah. Yep. Yeah, I see it. Yep. Yeah. Graduated there in 1971. 1971. Yep. Two years ahead of me. <laughs> so there's Iva. We found it, Butch. Yep. My home, I'm thinking with that water tower, I didn't realize there were that many trees, though. Well, it might have been a few sprung up since you left. Probably. You see that mud hill right there? That was the old cotton mill. They just have recently tore it down. Oh, is that right? So my home is right... See the blacktop highway? Right down in that patch of trees is where I grew up. Really? That's awesome. Take some pictures here for you. There's a 
There's the house right there. You see it? Yep. Oh, that's great. We're straight over top of the house right so there. It's still up. there. It's still there. Yeah. And my sister still lives there. Oh, okay. I didn't realize that. Yep. The old home still looks the same. See it, son? Huh? Did you see it? I tried. It's, it was kind of difficult to see it on my end, but I can get the general area of it. That's great. There's my high school son. Right there. Yeah. Clemson is about 25 miles, so we should be there in about 12 minutes or so. That's Anderson Airport over there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it looks every looks like everything is Let's see what's happening there. Yeah. I think we better head on back. So we got those yellow areas that are still kind of encroaching. So, yeah, that's Bucky on back there. If everything still looks good, we'll do some flying over the lake. Four miles, about 25 minutes from Gainesville. Let's see what it looks like over there. But that wasn't too bad. Yeah, the flight I had to London was about eight and a half hours, nine hours. We flew uh, from Chattanooga to Atlanta, and then Atlanta to, uh, I, I can't remember the other place we, we went to, but we stopped. Washington. Yeah, it was Washington. D.C., I guess, it had yeah. to be. But then we went from there to London, and we took the bullet train that went under the channel from London to Paris. Wow. And then back... Uh, we went and stayed at this town called uh, uh, Chalon, in, it's Chalon in Champagne or something like that. Yeah. Uh, I went like for a uh, student exchange type thing and got to stay with the kids. They came and stayed with us at our house and then we went and stayed with them. But uh, I, I really enjoyed that. London is, I liked London more than I did Paris. I don't know. Maybe it's because it was the first thing we experienced and I was just out of it when we got, because it was bad, I mean. But... How long ago was that? Uh, uh, yeah, not this last spring break I had, but the spring break before that a one. A year ago. Yeah, a year. a year ago. They had an exchange program, and the kids from Paris came here 
stay what a week, Christopher, or two yeah, weeks? Yeah, they stayed they stayed with us for a week and then they went and stayed in Miami for a week. And then so these kids got to go there and stay with them. Ah. Becky yeah. went with him, his mother. That's a long flight. Yeah, it was. Back in the day when you remember Neil. Who? Neil. Yeah. Partner Neil. Yeah, back in those days. We used to sign up for these these train air conditioning trips. We paid a little bit more. <laughs> and then they put us in the system. Anyway, we we got to go to Australia. It was like uh, 13 hours in the plane. Wow. I thought it was longer than that. I thought it was like a 20-something mile flight. Or it could be. Yeah. Well, I, I know Tom, Tom Jones went. Yeah. 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 I mean, it, it was a long flight. All right, we're turning for home. All right, time to... So I just used the autopilot and I programmed us to descend at 500 feet per minute. And it's just gonna take us right there. I don't have to do anything. But when we get close, I'll take over and land it. We won't let the plane land itself. Don't you worry. That's just me taking it off autopilot. Gainesville traffic, Sirius 248, Charlie Papa, six mile final, runway 29, Gainesville. All right, so mixture's full rich. We've got pump on. Everybody got your seatbelts on? <laughs> just, in case, just in case you might have taken it off, this would be a good time to wear it. All right, I'm going to slow us down. The way you slow us down is you just kind of pick the nose up. And slow us down to about 100 indicated and then we'll put on our first notch of flaps. There's a hundred first notch of flaps. Gainesville traffic, Sarah's 248, Charlie Papa, three mile final runway 29, Gainesville. This is a pilot controlled airport. There's no tower, you don't have to interface, you don't have to talk to them. So I'm just broadcasting out to Hello. everybody. All of them over here. Yeah. So we're right in line with runway 2. Four twenty nine good traffic is going to be turning uh, and joining off of the runway 23 off of Champion. Runway 23 off of Champion. Gains with traffic, Sirius 248, Charlie Papa, two mile final, runway 29, Gainesville. All right, second notch of flaps. Flaps slow you down. There are those aileron looking things out there. Five hundred. So we're five hundred feet above the ground right now. Flying right into the wind, which is great.
All right, we made it. Man, I'm glad that bird got out of the I way. Ain't he, he, he was a little close. That'd been a mess. Gainesville traffic, Sierra 248, Charlie Papa, clear all runways, Gainesville. That wasn't too bad, was it? Oh, that was nice. I enjoyed it. It was uh, fun. Thank you, Hank. I wish I had air conditioning. That'd make it that much more enjoyable. Not bad. But. Wasn't bad. You tell the difference, though, down here. Yes, you definitely can. You definitely can. I'll let some air into this room. Well, if the weather had turned out a little bit nicer, I would have not hesitated to take us up to Clemson. It's kind of a neat thing. We'll do that next time. Well, this weather just came right on in on us, though. So. Uh, At least we got to the old homestead. That's all the house. Yeah. <laughs> DD-16. Alright, shut it down. We've got to test the mags. Yep. That's off, that's off. And shut her down. 